previous videos I've shown the basics of correcting astigmatism. In this video I want to show how to fix something called the stigmata alignment. It'll improve your overall alignment and therefore the quality of your final images. So in our basic alignment procedure we use focus to show us what's wrong with the alignment. When we right click for focus and we focus to the right and the left we're looking for some visual cues. If we see stretching in the image we know we need to fix astigmatism. If we see shifting in the image then we know we need to fix the lens alignment. In this case, there's no shifting, so the lens alignment is okay. But as I focus to the right, we see a stretch along the diagonal. If I go back to the left, we get that diagonal to flip 90 degrees, so that shows us we have astigmatism. To fix that, we know we want to go somewhere in the middle where there's no stretching. It's equally blurry along all edges of a particle. And then shift right click for and move side to side for X astigmatism, up and down for Y astigmatism to get a sharp image. So we know that, but one thing I want to show you is that while I was fixing that X and Y astigmatism, you can see the image is shifting right now left and right as I move X astigmatism. When I go up and down, it's also shifting, maybe a little bit on a diagonal. So if we sh see shifting while we're fixing astigmatism, that's our visual cue that we need to fix the stigmata alignment. So in order to do that, we go to our alignment page here at the top right, and we want to select stigmata alignment. We'll press start, and this will guide us through the process. What it's going to do is wobble the exostigmatism, much like when we do lens alignment, it wobbles the focus. We want to set up our image so that we can see the direction of our shifting and then we want to adjust the amplitude so that we can get a good view of it. So in this case maybe I'll drive the amplitude all the way down and minimize the overall oscillation and then drive it up to exaggerate it a little bit. Now to fix this it's the same way we fix lens alignment. If I see it's moving on a diagonal I want to fix the uh, X and Y oscillation independently. So to fix X I'll grab the vertical bar and move it left or right. In this case I'm moving it to the left and I can get the particle. Now it's I've minimized the X oscillation, it's only moving up and down. So now I'll grab the horizontal bar and I'll move that up and down to minimize the Y oscillation. And the idea is to get it to blink in place just like we would with the lens alignment. So that's fi we fix now the, the X astigmatism wobbler. Next we'll go to the Y and you can see there's a heavy oscillation in the X direction. Uh, we'll drive down the amplitude so that we can see it a little bit better. And again, we'll fix the X oscillation by grabbing the vertical bar and moving it left and right. Now it's only moving up and down, so we'll grab the horizontal bar and we'll fix that so that it's only blinking in place. Now you can also right click and go into fine mode. You can do this at higher magnification and you can try to really fine tune this. In my experience I find that if it's blinking or, or shifting only a little bit like we see here, that's about as good as you're going to get it. So in that case you'll be finished. And we want to check that. We can again focus. We don't see any shifting. There's maybe a little stretching. As we fix astigmatism now with shift right click, we've minimized the overall motion of the image while we're doing that. If we zoom in more and use a redu reduced window, which is what you're more commonly going to do for your alignment, as I shift right click, I don't have very much shifting at all, and that means that my stigmata alignment is fixed. In most cases, you won't have to do this. Uh, we keep it pretty well aligned. But while you're doing your imaging, if you notice that visual cue, if you notice the image shifting while you're, while you're adjusting astigmatism, then that's your cue to go and fix the stigmata alignment.